Welcome back to another week of Sometimes Crypto. We do not hold hand movement. <laughs> the Unscripted Crypto, crypto Podcast. Podcast. Hey, yo. <laughs> Sorry. I had to interrupt you. <laughs> I was, like, I was like, what the? You did a thing. Like, Whoop, bam. I don't know, William. I'm, I'm just uh, messing around with my uh, my style. Trying to he came in a nice dress-up shirt today. Nice button-down. It's it's very comfy. It's a nice shirt. I know I have one. Yeah. <laughs> we bought one. We bought it together. We, you know. Similar styles. Similar styles. So... We were prepared for something that we weren't, so now we're doing current events, I see. Oh, yeah. We're doing current events. Events that are current. Things that are trending. Kind of. Topics? Maybe. Okay. Anything exciting you saw this week? Anything exciting? Oh, yeah. I don't know. It actually seemed... Oh, I saw one thing that was exciting. What? The past weekend. What? It was Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy belated belated, belated Mother's, Day. Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. We're good at being late to things, not saying it beforehand, because we record so far away from typical things. I just didn't realize it was Mother's Day. Until? Until. The day? Until. Yeah, but more so I didn't realize that I should have addressed it on the episode. Happy belated I knew it was Mother's Day. Shut up. Happy belated Mother's Day to all you beautiful mothers out there. Yes. Uh, besides that, no, I didn't see anything exciting going on. <laughs> I think the things we find exciting are different. Probably. Elon Musk got a new CEO. Oh, they announced that already? I thought there was, that all, was a whole Twitter thing. I thought it was all like speculation. What's spe- Elon announced okay. it. Okay. Oh, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I'm not getting the no- notification from Elon on Twitter. Anymore. Is it turned on? It's Should not. Be. It's Should be. It, well, I, I didn't turn it off. It's always it's default off, I think. No, I've well, had it on. Not the point. Though. Yeah, tell me. Enlighten me. Who'd they get? So they got Linda. Oh, I'm a butcher. This freaking last name, dude. <laughs> I'm a. B- I want you to say it because I know I'm gonna butcher it. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't do this. Yeah. Yacarino. You. Linda Yaka Yacarino. I don't know. They got Linda. They got Linda. So Linda. Is. Is um. She was announced as a new Twitter CEO. Her former role... Let me turn off my volume just in case... Same, I, was, I was there doing the same thing. <laughs> in case the video starts playing. So she is a former um, director of marketing for CN... Is it CNBC? Um, let me see. It's here. So she's, she's a new CEO of Twitter? Correct, though. Uh, effective immediately? Six weeks to get her settled in, I, I think, is what the the tweet said. Uh, here it is. So Elon's finally taking taking a step back from Twitter, going back to Tesla. Oh no! So what Elon announced was she's gonna be taking care of prime dealings with marketing, money, mm-hmm. just keeping people happy, mm-hmm. and he's gonna be um, CTO, operations, pure oper um, operations and um, Tech- development, technology development. Uh-huh. Because he wants to make Twitter like a super app. Yes, he's one, still one working stop on stop shop that. for everything. I mean, they're pretty much close to that. Oh. You can send funds on Twitter. And it's NBCU, uh, NBC Universal. Oh. She overseen the marketing strategy and advertising revenue for the company. Mm, for Universal. Correct. Which, golly. Golly. Which the amount of revenue she was dealing with was around ten billion dollars. Mm. So it's a controversial hiring. People oh, are saying is it? because she is part of the WEF, oh, World Economic Forum. I did see that. I saw that. And they're like, "How is uh, Elon going to hire someone who part. opposes?" Uh-huh. Or you know, we're saying opposes because she is part of the WEF, and they're more for big governments, big like controlling entities. And like playing along with things versus Elon, who's free speech, free everything. Uh huh. So we're like, how's that? Gonna, how's that dy- dynamic gonna work? Elon's a man of power, of like, uh, not power, of uh, mm-hmm. balance. He wants balance in some systems. Also, we are forgetting. 
she might be CEO. He owns the company. True, yeah. yeah. Whatever he says goes. Whatever he kind of... Unless she's hiding stuff from him in the future. But that's going to... I feel like that's for, that's going to be hard to do with Elon as the chair. What do you mean? Like, Elon being the owner of the company. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm sure he has everything on, like, laser focus. I'm not sure what you mean by that, but yes. Like, okay, that's his asset. He's going to be... Managing his asset. Managing his asset. Oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah, like. yeah he's going to know exactly. Which I think that's part of the fear they have. Like, oh, she's going to do things... Behind his back. Behind his back that he's not going to be aware of. But if it's his baby, if he truly bought it for free speech, be creating the super app... I just feel like, at mm -hmm. least for the most part, it seems like that's what Elon does with his businesses. He creates a business, or in this case for Twitter, acquired a business that... Well, he's always acquired businesses. He's passionate about. For the most part. He started PayPal. With two other people. Yeah, yeah. And Tesla. He didn't start Tesla. No? He acquired he, Tesla? He acquired Tesla. Oh. With PayPal. With PayPal's money? Yes. With the, from, he sold PayPal. Yeah, when he, when he, was, when he sold PayPal, he, he took some of that money... And acquired Tesla stock. He, he Tesla. acquired Tesla stock. Yeah, Tesla I thought shares. he started Tesla. Nope, oh. Tesla's already started. He just bought. He just um took it over. Okay. He started SpaceX. SpaceX and the Boring Company. Yes. Okay. Nothing. He didn't start company. I'm just no, saying. No, no, no. He's the he one. He didn't start Tesla. He didn't start Tesla, but he, he did, did make Tesla. F um, oh no, naturally, yeah. What it so, is today. Um, and he also well, acquired Tesla and he acquired Twitter. He started PayPal, started SpaceX, and the Boring Company. But for the most part, what I'm saying is that his mission with these companies is to like try to add some type of like X factor to the like human society. Um, in the case of Twitter, he's free speech. For free speech, yeah. Uh, I think his free main thing is free speech and no government control, mm -hmm. like getting away from that. Yeah. No involvement, like censorship, and correct. In the governing bodies are like yeah but that's the con that's what the whole like twitter files was about yeah well that was more so i think exposing all the all like things going on within twitter like all uh, the things people assumed were, were already happening bring it to light shadow banning yeah like the shadow banning and what nothing oh you keep on looking at the cameras you make me nervous i'm like are they breaking but like the shadow banning the the censorship of um, information, because I think it came out in the Twitter files that they were able to block. Well, I think this was said they were able to block um, messages being sent like directly between users for like for the Hunter Biden uh, laptop case. Uh -huh. It was it was blocked from being sent to users. Oh, okay, yeah, the app. yeah, I remember that. So if I send it to you directly, you weren't you, able to I, see it. Yeah, you wouldn't. It wouldn't go through. No. It would say sent, but then it would never actually. It would never it. get to your end, and I think what also came out was oh my, God, I forgot. There's something else. That was that was there for like the whole Twitter files. Yeah. Oh, that they can see all your messages. Oh yeah, of course, but that happens with any centralized service like Facebook. They could see all your messages. Instagram. No, no, but there there's things in place so that they can't just openly look into them like for twitter it mm -hmm. was like no no yeah there should be there should be like a certain admin should have access to exactly it. for i think for twitter it was any admin mm -hmm. for like that dealt with well it that see. happened because like there was like this uh hack that took place i think it was like 2018 2019 no 2019 2020 2019 2020 um, you're talking about the bitcoin one yeah where uh, elon's Musk, elon musk's uh, twitter account uh bill gates, bill gates a, a bunch of accounts a couple of, like uh influential people says oh you sent me point one bitcoin and, and I'll, I'll send, send you, you x back yeah send me point oh one bitcoin i'll send you point ten yeah. something like that which those that's a scam those are scams by the way don't don't ever do no one's gonna give you free bitcoin for sending the bitcoin if they're gonna give you free bitcoin they'll just give, give you free you. bitcoin yeah but yeah that twitter acquisition is interesting my main job is going to be dealing with funding mm -hmm. Making it up like profitable, yeah. But then, I, one of the arguments I was hearing was um, how if you are going to look for advertisers, you're going to be at the mercy of the advertisers to continue to make money, yeah. Like, as in, uh, once they decide to pull funding, they go, oh, wait, like, what do you want us to do so we can keep the funding and stay operational, yeah. 
so that's like the only thing but we'll see what happens there i think that that would be the case if they want to, okay so if they want to expand uh, past whatever they're doing right now expand what they're doing it with like a quarter of what they had in terms of imp- uh, in terms of manpower oh uh, yeah so they cut they cut expenses um but what i'm saying is like if they start getting funding and they want to like expand on like services that they're doing if they're not getting funding from those new services that they're providing and they're only getting the funding from the advertisement then that's where the issue lies well is the advertising always gonna, it's always gonna make more well yeah adver- well, make more right away maybe mm-hmm. in this situation unless they start implementing like microtransactions for like tipping uh, content yeah. creators and then start charging fees for being the facilitator of those yeah. transactions. I think that I think they're also working on um, being able to was it send Doge or something with a Dogecoin mm-hmm. involved. Send and receive. I think so. Something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean they have tipping on Twitter already and s- premium subscriptions. Yeah. To well, that, that's accounts. New. So like, as a content creator, if I want to offer like a premium content to my fans if Twitter has a good user basis and active user basis then I wouldn't mind Twitter getting a cut of whatever money I'm making I mean in that particular case I, w- I wouldn't be making it if it weren't for their platform so, people would just be doing what they depending on what's allowed to be played like what video you're allowed to put up because mm-hmm. also like there may be restrictions on length and things like that because the app is not mm-hmm. there yet but people just have like their Patreon, one service, mm-hmm. and then have the same thing from like their Patreon mm-hmm. on Twitter, mm-hmm. and be the same amount, so you can use it. Yeah, which makes sense. You mean like uh like videos and yeah like you know people already have Patreon for like videos or long like podcasts have it for mm-hmm. longer form yeah or for like, like an extra, uh, extra episode exclusive content. It'll be the same thing, but on Twitter. On Twitter, yeah, absolutely. You you just use both. Mm-hmm. Yeah, two different platforms. Yeah, I doubt that there would be uh, exclusivity rights unless you're a major, major name. So that would, I think that... Like, mm-hmm. What happened with Rogan and Spotify? That's a little different. Is it, though? Yeah, because Rogan did a licensing agreement. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like, that would be like that's Tucker what, Carlson. That's why, yeah, like Tucker Carlson. Yeah, that's specific. Actually, no, perfect example. Perfect example. Because he's, like, signing with Twitter. To uh-huh. So he would have his stuff exclusively on Twitter. On Twitter. That's what I meant. Like, um, Yeah, licensing for, agreement. For... for, for uh, the majority of the fish in the in the platform, they would be using Patreon and Twitter or whatever other platform because they wouldn't have that licensing agreement. But for Tucker Carlson, who I would assume is getting a licensing agreement would only, of some sort, yeah, of some sort, would only be posting on Twitter. You know the Ro- the the Rogan agreement? Like, do you know anything about it? It's been a minute since I've like heard about it. That was like a while. Ago. It was old news. So it's not old news, but yeah. What do you mean it's not old news? It's old news now, but like that yeah. was a big news. It was no, no. That, I'm not denying it wasn't big news, <laughs> massive. Um, but it's been a while, so I don't. I just can't. I don't think I could accurately recall the information. Uh, but why? Why do you ask? Because I remember reading a thing. Uh, Cody Sanchez wrote it. Mm-hmm. How it wasn't really a critique. It was more so saying like she wouldn't have taken Rogan's stance on doing an agreement like that. Mm-hmm. More so than anything else. Um, because it limits the amount of uh, revenue you'll be making because there's not really a lot of ads like you're not pushing extra mm-hmm. ads or whatever and I was just like she has a point and then I look at Rogan and he's like but Rogan the main thing with Rogan was he just didn't want the headaches mm-hmm. of being on YouTube and being yeah because the thing is YouTube had a issue where it was just demonetizing a lot of his videos and just like straight up banning it exactly well that's interesting because there was a moment where Rogan's episode, where, where he talks about it multiple times on the, on his um, podcast, that right, like, when he announced that he's going off of, he's going straight to Spotify, mm-hmm. that three-month window or whatever window, however long it was, went from f- uh, being censored and, like, he saw an increase, like, 30 to 20% in revenue in AdSense because mm-hmm. they weren't being uh, censored. censored or... Um, Damn, I forgot the word. Blacklisted. Like, mm-hmm. his, like shadow banned. Demonetized. Demonetized. That was the word. So he saw more revenue once uh, the policies changed. Once he announced it. Once he announced that he was going to Spotify, uh-huh. there was a three-month window where he was on both Spotify and YouTube. Uh-huh. In that three-month window, he saw an increase in revenue on YouTube. Mm-hmm. 
after he announced that. Why? Oh, because people started watching his videos. Because YouTube allowed, because YouTube stopped demonetizing him. Well, oh, so that he could. S- Why did they do that? What do you mean? Why would they do? De- Sorry, because they stop do, because de- they lose money on it. Because it, the reason he's demonetized is because he has less ads being played on the videos. Mm-hmm. So if he, they're they're putting more ads. Okay, so from what I have understood with YouTube's uh, demonetization, it is YouTube chooses to not place advertisement on your videos. Okay. Okay. If Rogan already agrees to leave Spotify, to leave YouTube mm-hmm. and go to Spotify, what does YouTube gain from giving him advertisement now? They gain because they have more people. Oh, because they know because they they expect people to be. Uh, like I like uh, likely to watch his videos on YouTube before he moves over to Spotify in case they don't have a Spotify subscription. No, they're, they're just making the money they, they they weren't making as much as before. If they're choosing not to put ads where they're visible, mm-hmm. that's less money they're also generating Correct. for themselves. Uh-huh. So they're also okay. piggybacking on that. Okay. So he start. He, is he still making that money, extra income on? No, because he's no longer on YouTube. Not even the clips. Just the clips. Mm. I don't know. He hasn't talked about the clips. Mm. Yeah, cause I, that's how I think I ran into him. Like the clips, it was just like. I know Rogan had clips. Ten minute videos. I had no I idea like, those per- existed. It was like perfect. I forget clips exist for the most part. I felt like a phone vibrate. Oh, it was my phone. Your phone vibrated. Yeah. I felt it. I was like. My phone also vibrated. <laughs> but yeah I found that interesting the Rogan and Cody thing well that Cody said that for her it wasn't a smart move what Rogan did like he lost out on like on potential revenue he put a cap on himself is what she's saying yeah I don't think so but yeah he definitely did put a cap now if, was, now if you're being censored now if you're being censored so his her thing was uh Making it a a paid for subscription, mm-hmm. which Rogan's against. He doesn't want to. He doesn't have like the it. paywall. He doesn't like the paywall. Which is, there is a paywall. Oh no, there is a because Spotify isn't. you can listen for free. Exactly. There is no paywall to watch them. That is true. There is no paywall to watch it. And that was his thing. He's like, I don't want to have a paywall. I don't mm-hmm. want people have to have to pay to watch me. Mm-hmm. Especially since he's been doing it for so long. Yeah, he's been doing it for for how he's been doing it. So he's like, I'm, no. I see. No, I mean that's good for him. So he does have caps, but it's also like moral it's caps. Cap, yeah, it's by his morals. Yeah, which good values. But yeah, anything else you want to talk about? Um, the Twitter thing. What Twitter thing? What we were talking about earlier. What happened? Elon Musk hired the new CEO. Okay. Uh, Linda. What about Linda? What do you? She okay. So she was uh, MSN Universal. What? What you say? No, I didn't say that. She was NBC. NBC. Universal. All these letters. Overseas of um, all marketing and advertising revenue for the company. Okay, so she's part of the World Economic Forum. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm currently on the World Economic Forum. Oh, Reading you're on, the, on that page. Reading that off, yeah. I see. Um, mm-hmm. And there's a controversy with that. With the World Economic Forum. Well, with her being uh, uh, oh, yeah. the CEO of Twitter there, yeah. while being part of the World Well, more so is like they're saying, how does Elon stand for free speech? Mm-hmm. All these, you can say, more right-leaning yeah. things if you want. I don't, whatever you I don't want. Know. I don't I care. Don't <laughs> and they're, they're putting it more so like she is big government. Mm-hmm. She is like, you. now that she is the people she the, the world economic the form that she the entity she's associated to uh-huh. is um I see. more big government more control more mm-hmm. all well, these things that people aren't for when i think about it i think of uh keep your friends close and your enemies closer that's also something they said that's what he's doing <laughs> yeah at, while also trying to make the bag yeah which makes sense yeah of course all right which <laughs> it's elon musk if anything he's the guy who's done it the best I don't know. I don't know what he's done the best, like how he does it. Listen, but he he's does, a guy. He gets he gets it done. I don't know. Listen, he gets it done. Help make PayPal mm-hmm. something that didn't exist—a form of um quick, easy payment system. Mm-hmm. Digital payment system. Digital payment system. Thank you. 
Mm. Not that that was the thing. Made it with these other two guys. No, mm. not other. Made it mainstream. Who did he do it with? The co-founders of PayPal. Yeah, I was gonna say the Winkle, the Winkle, the Winklevoss twins, but I think I'm wrong. I think mm. they did something else. Yeah, Facebook. Facebook with Mark. There we go. My fault for getting that wrong, boys and girls. They're big in crypto right now. Aren't they the owners of Gemini? Mm-hmm. I know that one. PayPal Holdings, co-founders. Uh, where's 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 Wikipedia when you need it? You can't. Oh, it's the first link. I'm blind. Uh, early history it was created by Max Levinshin, Peter Thiel. Oh, Luke Peter Nozick. Thiel. 1998. Damn, PayPal has been around since 1998. Old as you, me. I did not know that. Alrighty. In December, as old as you. Old as me. You're older. <laughs> older than paper. <laughs> uh, but um, created that company mm-hmm. with them. Bought a fading car company. Made it profitable. Electric car company. Electric car company. Went against the big dogs. Mm-hmm. And is winning. Yeah. In market and everything else. It technically is winning. While spending nothing on advertisement. Correct. That's wild. Correct. In a world where like marketing's they don't market. They're yeah. like Apple. Well, our Apple markets. Apple does market, yeah. Yeah, no, Apple does market. No, yeah. I took that back immediately. Yeah, they- <laughs> wait, <I> retract. <laughs> Apple markets like a motherfucker. Yeah. Um. Then created a fr- a freaking rocket company to shoot rockets into space. That is what they did. Yeah. Then just to make sure, but it's not just shoot rockets into space. So so that we can get, so humans could keep on living. Well, the thing is, what? Yes, they, he wants to get humans on our, on Mars, colonize Mars. That's I'm I'm for that. Hashtag colonize Mars. Um, this guy, <laughs> ET's gonna come for you. Why? They might not want that. What if the Martians don't want to be colonized? I don't know if there's any Martians. You, exactly. But what if there are? Maybe the Martians are underground. Maybe, maybe. Then we'll just live above ground. What if they're not cool with that? What if we're making too much noise? Like the downstairs neighbors, like, yo, you're being too loud up there. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Like, you ever think fish get annoyed about with us? They're like, yo, you're in my fishing room, you're in my swimming room. Definitely not. Okay. Uh, I just, you're not giving the Martians enough credit with the, comparing them by f- to fish. You're right. <laughs> That's my fault. <laughs> uh, you know what? Well, I'll take it. Uh, with SpaceX, it's more so, um, creating space uh travel like affordable being able to reuse rockets because before that it was once and done well that's also because which is wild now they land themselves son they land themselves i mean that's wild do you i think i i don't remember i've said this on this podcast but do you know how much it costs i'm gonna look up the numbers just so i'm right just just to be just to be accurate it's specific it's specific what what's the question though um so it's how much does it cost spacex to launch to launch a rocket um 50 mil no too much way too much way too little too little uh 125 how much did you say the first time 50 mil so i'm you're close to the Falcon 9. To the Falcon 9. Yeah, because I'm sure the beginning was more expensive. Of course. And it gets cheaper over time, which happens with any industry. Uh, as you get better with something, the cheaper it is to perform said act. So, so we're going to give this number. And we're gonna compare, I'm going to compare it to NASA's number. The Falcon 9 per launch costs $67 million. 67? 67 mil. To launch. To launch. Uh-huh. Sorry. <laughs> so it costs fit sixty seven million to launch the Falcon Nine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What does what does NASA have? How much do you think more do they spend? More do they first of all I don't think NASA's launching anything recently, have they? I feel like just SpaceX has rented out this Kennedy Space Center f- almost indefinitely. <laughs> Um, but I'd say about 200 mil. 
feel like two hundred million dollars is a sizable, sizable amount. How much? Two hundred. You're close. So per launch, launching one of NASA's rockets is one hundred fifty-two million. One hundred fifty-two. Three so, times. Yeah, three times. Three times what it costs mm -hmm. Elon to do it. All. I give or take a few yeah, numbers. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's absurd. And then the real number I, that I saw, not the real number, another number I saw, which I don't remember where I saw it, was that it's going to cost NASA to launch, like their entire program, it's going to cost NASA like $4 billion to do, it every, to do everything. And it's only going to cost Elon like one point five. Oh, really? Like a fraction. Mm -hmm. That's absurd. How is NASA so inefficient? Well, there's a few answers to that. Uh, we one could easily say bureaucracy, but the one thing that I know for a fact is mm -hmm. private institutions typically hold themselves more reliable, more like reliable, more depending on what funds they do end up spending because they know that there's no way for them to just create more funds out of thin air um, if they run out of it. <clears throat> like government institutions have the luxury of being able to say, oh, we could always implement a new tax. Alrighty. Or so, cut government spending in some. But so I got the number I was looking for. That never happens. Cut spending? Yeah. No. Exactly. We're gonna get into that. That seating's coming up next, guys. Okay. So to launch, on one of the the new rocket that NASA is creating, the space they just put the space launch system, the SLS. Whatever, it says from the inverse dot com. Likely really expensive to the tune of four point one billion per launch, according to NASA's Inspector General. Four point one billion. Yes. It's wild. What are they launching? Uh, a football stadium? That's their next giant rocket that they're creating. That's insane. That's literally to move civilization out of here. That's probably to move... No, not civilization. Heavy heavy machinery. I mean, Elon sent a, a roadster on his, one of his first launches. So yeah, their current rocket they're, wa they're working on, the SLS, is like... It costs $4.1 billion to launch. Versus... Let's look up... So SpaceX already has like s reusable uh, rockets, which means once we use it, we can use it again for another purpose or another flight. That didn't exist before them. And on top of that, they mm -hmm. used to first crash into the ocean and someone had to go pick them up. Now they're landing on boats by themselves, real time. Yeah. That's crazy. Space travel is going to be a thing, but not like as in going to space and going to the moon and coming back. I mean, that will be a thing, but that's further down the line. Before that, planes are going to become non-existent. Non not non-existent, just almost irrelevant. Uh, we're probably going to be moving thousands of people from one side of the world to the other side in what's probably going to be like an hour or two. Yeah. That's wild. I just got the temp, the temp thing. Yeah, what's the time? Time is thirty minutes. Alrighty. I think before we yeah yeah before we before we finish it before we wrap up and then talk about the uh, seating. The seating. But yeah, it's kind of crazy how much that costs. Yeah. NASA to do. Oh, what I was gonna say mm -hmm. was that uh, before they plan on getting uh, people to Mars, uh, he introduced uh, Space Link. Right. Space Link? Starlink. Starlink. I knew that. Yeah, he unlocking like satellites to create an internet a mm -hmm. internet connection in remote areas. Yeah. Which is crazy. Humanitarian efforts. Like ultimately what I see Elon working on is humanitarian. First with PayPal, transferring of funds. Yeah. Human like having access to funds is like necessary for for everything. For everything. Um uh, Civilization, uh, electric vehicles to help try to improve economic, like uh, environmental, environmental causes. Traveling to another planet for l longevity of human, of, of, of human species, of human species, uh, and probably other, just life in general. Yep. Um, 
transferring of data with uh, Starlink. Yeah. Oh, and we forgot Neuralink. Mm-hmm. Try he said try and create uh, help out those currently physically impaired mm-hmm. in that are and with a whole bunch of impairments. Yeah, like wide ranging. And then the, now Twitter. Yeah, free speech for the, so the government like, cannot yeah. censor. Like I don't know how he's doing it, but his that motiv- man got money, money. But the thing is, his motivations seem really pure, very genuine, very like yeah. like it is for humanity. Like it's. And he's doing it, which is cool. Mm-hmm. Right, so. What's up? You said we were going to be talking about. The debt ceiling? The debt ceiling. The United States. Has reached the peak a while ago. Is running out of money. Well, actually, we are set to run out of money. June. I don't if it's, if it's June 1st or July 1st. I think it's June 1st. Oh, that's a couple of weeks away. Actually, it is. It's June 1st. That's two weeks away. The U.S. is set. The Treasury, meaning Mm -hmm. our bank account. Mm -hmm. The the nation's bank account. The nation's bank account, July 1st, is set to have no more cash. Wow. If the debt ceiling by July 1st is not raised, they're they're saying it's the first time we're going to default on our debt. Meaning we want to have money to pay what we owe. That sounds scary. Should I be scared? It won't happen, but yes. What? What? What happens if it does happen? It's not. What do you mean it's not? The debt ceiling will be raised. Okay. Let me rephrase the question. Go ahead. What are the pros and cons of raising the debt ceiling? It has to be raised. There is no pro. There is no con. You, the There's debt no ceiling, pro. There is no- <laughs> the debt ceiling has to be raised. Why? Because we'll default on our debt. Okay, what does that mean if we default? It means you got to buy bullets. If we buy, if we default on our debt... You have to buy bullets. We buy as an individual or we as an... We as or, individuals have to buy bullets. Why? What do you mean? People are going to come for me? I just don't get it, William. If the nation's debt is defaulted, mm-hmm. is the United States in trouble? Yes. Why? Who's gonna who's who's gonna do what? What's gonna happen? It like, means like are we gonna stop getting goods and services from other nations? So uh, I'm assuming that's the case. Yes, that's that so you're looking at that. Don't just look at it like that. Look at the fact of all trust mm-hmm. in the US dollar mm-hmm. will be gone. Because the United States has no more money to spend? Because the United States did not pay what they owe. Mm-hmm. To everyone who owns that debt. Mm-hmm. Oh, so they're like, oh, so. So, for an example, so, China, uh, right now, is mm-hmm. their largest debt holder. We mm-hmm. owe they they own mm-hmm. one point three trillion dollars worth of our debt, mm-hmm. meaning we pay them. We wouldn't be able to pay them, mm-hmm. or pay the interest that we own. Mm-hmm. All these programs that are ran by the government that's paid for by them will not be paid for, meaning. Social Security, you're not getting a check because they can't pay it. They can't pay it. There's no money. There's no money. The bank account says zero. Public service, like police. So the nation would go into catastrophe. Yeah. Okay. That's why it won't happen. That's why the debt ceiling will be raised. That cannot happen. Mandatory. Okay, so what is the cons of raising the debt ceiling? You you, (laughs) We keep the same problem we've been having. Unlimited amount of spending. Inflation. Not just inflation, unlimited amount of spending. So there was a time when to borrow money or to use money that we had, you had to put it in and write, oh, we're going to take, for an example, $100 million and do X, Y, and Z with it. The, before in Congress, you'd have to do that before putting out money. Mm-hmm. I don't remember when exactly. At one point, it switched from that to what it is now, just having an unlimited amount of debt, a debt ceiling where you can just spend X until it gets there. The thing is, when you, when they did that, they just went on a shopping spree. Whose idea was it? Congress. God damn it. Or the Treasury. Or the Treasury? That was one. Of, I think it was Congress. <laughs> they said it so fast. Congress. No, no. Congress. If I'm not mistaken, Congress approved to remove that, and then they added the Treasury to be one of the people in charge of another portion of the money, like in charge of the bank of of the, uh, the money we collect, the U.S. collects. 
So that's so, why they have to raise it. Like there is no. So either way, it's going up. It's a bad situation. No, no, no. It's not. It's not either way. It's a bad situation. Debt ceiling. One situation is worse than the other. Defaulting. Defaulting You'll, is and default. Bad. Bad news. If you de- if that happens, you want to buy bullets. And no, Bitcoin. no, if that happens, it's too late to buy. You better have bullets. No, no, you, you, some will sell you bullets. Who's gonna, who's gonna accept the dollar? You might still want to have dollars, physical dollars. What? Maybe physical cash. Physical cash. Because if you got digital cash, it's you're not, screwed. It doesn't work. No, doesn't matter. No, it doesn't exist. It doesn't matter. But if you have physical, they might want to buy that out one day. There's a whole th- play there. It's like a short squeeze on physical dollars against the U.S. government. Against the U.S. government. That's wild. That's wild. So not just that. So it's it. That's the other part of um the, that's of not being able to pay, but the other would be those treasury bills that that are government debt are gonna mature in that time frame as well. So those won't be able to be paid either. No. That's crazy. So this risk free asset. It's not risk free right now. Right now, it's terrifying. <laughs> somehow gotten to the point where it's no longer risk free that's why everyone says oh just just buy t-bills because because the government has never default yeah until it does so that's also apparently not 100 percent accurate what uh, so i saw a video governments have defaulted that the u.s go- there has been seven governments that have, have officially defaulted mm-hmm. argentina i don't even know if really argentina there's a few others mm-hmm have officially truly defaulted, meaning they weren't able to pay there. But mm-hmm. they've all been third world countries, much smaller. Mm-hmm. This is this would be the big, the first large one. This is world reserve currency defaulting. Correct. So that's why it's catastrophic. That is terrifying. <laughs> that yeah. sounds to me like World War Three type of event. Maybe catalyst. Yes. That's crazy. So apparently, though, it's not the first time we actually default. Mm-hmm. So every there's been other times I can only recall one, which is when Nixon removed us from the gold standard. Mm-hmm. That was technically a default. Yes, that's you're reducing the amount of whatever you're holding to be, pay someone off. Correct. So that's like technically a default. Just that. Nah, not that's like kind of raising the debt ceiling, isn't it? That was the first. That was the first time that that ceiling was created. Yeah, <laughs> unlimited spending, but yeah. But the debt ceiling will be raised. Just that, right? They haven't they haven't decided what they're gonna do. Because mm-hmm. right now it's in Congress, and both sides are arguing what to do. Because they don't technically have to raise the debt ceiling. No. What's the other option? Defaulting. No, no, no. There's another option to that. No, there is. Yes, there is. Well, there is. Cut spending. It doesn't matter. If you cut spending, you cut spending is zero. No, not because, zero. So listen, Correct. even if you cut spending. Mm-hmm. If you either don't produce more money mm-hmm. or raise the ceiling, the amount of money we have, there's nothing to cut. So you're telling me there's people out there who would rather the debt ceiling not be raised and the government defaulting. Or strong arming it until the what does very that mean? end. Meaning leveraging their position on it to get what they want in return. Leveraging their vote their vote their ability to say no just so that other things could get moved correct politics 101 bro that's that sounds risky like on their behalf so as of right now the debt seating has been raised every time every time so the debt seating if I'm not mistaken has been raised 74 or 78 times last one being 2021 mm-hmm. and it was raised by a couple trillion how many presidents have there been 45 45 how many how many election cycles have there been? No idea. I'm, I'm gonna do a quick search. I have no idea, but that's uh, currently what's ha- going on with debt ceiling. Because I'm curious if there's a bit a correlation. So one, so this is how it ties into crypto though. Oh, you guys said sometimes crypto. <laughs> you know, if baby, we don't play these games, son. <laughs> so this would mean if the debt ceiling were not to be raised. That any stable coins held go to zero or or lose value immediately. That are backed by US debt. Why? Because they're backed by US debt. They're backed by US debt? Yes. The stable coins are backed by US debt. That's all it means. Because they own treasury bills. Oh, because they own treasury bills. That's true. That's a debt they own. That's true. They own T bills. That is very That true. represents a one to one value. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
So if the government's not able to pay those T bills, those T bills, those stable coins go to zero. Ain't that a bitch? That's crazy. So don't worry, that that thing will be raised. There's like less than a percent of it happening, not it, it not being raised. That's pretty wild. I mean, yeah. Have you used Bard? What? Have you used Bard? Tangent. Complete tangent. I've used Bard. Yeah? Do you like it? I thought his name was Brad for a minute. Yeah, he kept on saying Brad. I was like, I thought his name was Brad. I was like, who the hell's Brad? I love how you're asking me a question you know I you know the answer to. Uh, but I just remember you I, I know you talked about it, I don't remember if you used it or not. I have used Brad. How do you feel about it? He gives information differently than chat GPT, but yeah. his information is able to be checked immediately. Yeah. So whatever information he spews out, you can Google it immediately. And it'll show you um, either the article it went to directly together or, or where it got it from. Let's see. So I'm asking Bard. Un unlike ChatGPT, which I don't know. Has no access to the internet. Not three though. I think four does or yeah. four just has a larger pool. I'm not sure. I think I know four has a larger pool. I don't know what type of access to the internet it does or it doesn't have. Okay, so I asked how many U.S. presidential election cycles have there been? It's response. There have been 59 U.S. presidential election cycles since the first one in 1789. The most recent one was in 2020. The next one will be in 2024. I have no reason to the And the midterm election. Nah, trust it. And then it gives us some other information. Can I share this? I could export my response. Interesting. Mm -hmm. More copy report legal issues. Does it? Oh, it gives me a related searches on Google. Okay, so fifty nine, and you said uh, seventy four. Okay, I'm a, I'm a uh, search up how many times the debt ceiling's been raised. How many times has the U.S. debt ceiling been raised? I think it's seventy four. Seventy eight. One of those two. Let's see, it's thinking. Uh, 78 times since 1960. Yep. Since 1960. Yes. Oh, you left that out. I'm sorry. I didn't know that number. That was important. I know. I just didn't know that number. So <laughs> I'm not going to say a number I don't remember. That was very important. I, I, I know. <laughs> I just didn't want to say because I didn't know the exact date okay. that it was been raised. Okay. Yeah, no, no. Because I was. I was like, oh, that's I was, my my. Oh, initial, you thought since the beginning of U.S. Yeah, my my initial hypothesis was, but then can't be it since the beginning of U.S. if that is that ceiling didn't exist. Ex that's yeah. why I was like, there was yeah. a little caveat. So that's why yeah. I said that that ceiling didn't exist yeah, until they created. Right. It. I yeah. just didn't know when they did yeah, it. Yeah, I didn't. I also yeah, true, 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 true. All right, has it been raised seventy eight times. Quite a few. Yeah. Well, we're going on seventy nine right now, but yeah. The most recent one being in twenty twenty one. How many trillion did it get? Two point five trillion. I said a couple. Yeah, I was close. That's crazy. They'll probably raise it by another so who, trillion or two. Where do they borrow this money from? Borrow what money? From other countries. What? The debt ceiling? Mm -hmm. So all they're doing essentially is saying we can now spend another, let's give an example, another 2.5 trillion. Mm -hmm. So those are 2.5 trillion worth of treasury bills that are not created. The, okay. That's where people could buy debt. Mm -hmm. And that's 2.5 trillion. Now. So then the idea is... That someone's gonna buy it. So someone's gonna buy these treasury bills. The funds that the government gets from these treasury bills is to help produce GDP, which would then ultimately be used to either pay off the interest of just pay the interest off. That's all we're doing is paying off the interest we owe. Only the interest? Yeah. The tell America runs on interest. On in, on interest. On interest only loan. On like we have interest. an interest only loan. That's why the problems only get worse yeah. unless. Eventually, someone's gonna have to. Essentially, eventually, someone's gonna come for their money. Yeah, but just not at the same time. Hopefully, not at the same time. So that's why the entire statement of like China can't really collect that one point three like that. Because if they can't, if they do, we can't afford it. We can't afford it. No. But then also we won't be able to. But so they also like, just China, wouldn't do China it. Won't get any. I see. I see. This reminds me of a problem that someone presented to me the other day, a while ago. Not the other day. A little while ago. Yeah. Um. I see the problem. Yeah. I can't explain it, but I see it. <laughs> I just can't. Uh, that's just, that sucks. 
For them, not for us. Who? For for whoever we owe the money to. Oh no, this sucks for us too. Well, yeah, because that's to me that seems like every unnecessary time the, stress. Also, every time we re- within the system. Also, every time we raise the debt ceiling, we devaluate the dollar. Uh, that yeah. That I know. That's why I, as an individual, don't like it when it happens. But as a whole, buy Bitcoin, buy gold. Yeah, pretty much. If you're trying to save your the value of your. Did you know? No, I didn't. Oh, probably. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I didn't know. I don't even know what you're talking about. What are you gonna say? I was gonna say there was a president. I wish I could remember recall mm-hmm. immediately uh-huh. the thing it is. I remember what it is. I don't remember who in, who established okay. it. Okay. But it was there was a president that made owning gold as a U.S. citizen or or owning gold paper like you know saying that you can redeem it for gold mm-hmm. illegal. That we could not own it. That only the U.S. can have it. I think and that it, was uh, Woodrow Wilson. Maybe. And in return, we gave you paper-backed. Yeah. Uh, I think that might have been Woodrow Wilson. I'm going to ask Bard. Ask Bard. We're live testing Bard right now. <laughs> Made it illegal. To own gold. To own gold. It was during a war. I know um, uh, Abraham Lincoln asked for silver. Uh, mm-hmm. So they can make bullets and weaponry. That oh. was during... Not Woodrow Wilson. Who Theodore is? Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Franklin D. Roosevelt. Damn, the homie. Made illegal to own gold in the United States with Executive Order 6102. I, I was going to say that too. It was an executive order. Signed, in, yeah. signed on April 5th, 1993. Uh, prohibited the hoarding of gold coins, gold bullions, and gold what certificates. What year? 1933. I heard 1993 the first no, time. No, 33, 33. Okay, I was like, 1993? I'm there like, that was the other day. This man should be alive. Uh, they were required to turn in the gold to the government in exchange for paper currencies. Correct, though. The order was made under the authority of the Trade with the Enemy Act of 1917. That's why part of the thing that the U.S. has been doing is setting off some of his Bitcoin over the counter. Over it? What? Why? What? What? To get cash. To get cash. Oh, I see. I see, yeah. The order was controversial. Some people refused to comply. Interesting. But yeah, you might want to... Not financial advice. You might want to own some Bitcoin, guys. <laughs> not financial advice. But you might want to own some Bitcoin. The government prosecuted a number of people for violating the order, but the Supreme Court never ruled on the constitutionality of the order. And it was repealed in 1974. Interesting. Yeah. Fun stuff. So that's the debt ceiling, guys. Fun. Is it? <laughs> I mean, not the best. So they made it illegal to own gold. Yeah. Um, Abraham Lincoln uh, asked for silver to make bullets. Based off this documentary I saw, he was going to war with uh, vampires, and silver kills vampires. Silver kills wolves. Werewolves, vampires also. I don't know about that theory. It's uh. I might get into this mythical thing <laughs> just because last time I heard, this vampires are killed with wooden stakes, garlic, and silver. I don't know about that one. I feel like googling that. <laughs> I was about to Google that. Like vampires are like real like that, which maybe they are. Maybe they're not. I don't know. This maybe there's Edwards was, uh, out there. This documentary was uh, Lincoln versus vampires. I don't think that's a documentary. A what? documentary. <laughs> what? Dance. Nah. His mom was killed by a vampire. That's why he's got a vengeance for them. He became president to, to eradicate the the plague to the United States. <laughs> You're opening your mouth and it's just like yes, spewing I can't nonsense. Believe you say, I can't believe you're saying that. Okay. I, <laughs> no, I'm so on the William. vampires are killed by silver bullets. At least werewolves, my dude. <laughs> werewolves are killed by silver okay, bullets. Okay, so the, the reason why vampires are killed by silver bullets is because silver, mm-hmm. sterling silver, okay, stainless steel is... Think about what you're talking Uh-huh. Keep on. You're, you're figuring it out for yourself. Uh, like antibacterial in in nature like it's proper silver isn't no it's, I don't, it's steel stainless steel I think is antibacterial I don't know if, I don't 
If that is your argument, is silver. <laughs> it's one of the two. Anti. Interesting. Um, for that last question that I asked Bard, uh, what president made it illegal to own gold? Uh, one of the sources was a coined off Phi uh, Bitcoin. Today is Satoshi's birthday or something like that. Guys, obviously I'm joking about the whole <laughs> vampire <laughs> steel thing. No, he's not. <laughs> he's trying to dig himself out of it because he realized that I'm right and they're used to kill werewolves. I'm not saying they're not used to kill werewolves. Okay. okay. And from what I see here, they are it silver's also anti bacterial. Yeah. Even though I just the art what I googled is is sturdy silver antibacterial. And it shows a prompt, and then right underneath it says, Silver turns bacteria into deadly zombies. What? <laughs> is This is from science.org. It says, the article says, Science.org. <laughs> silver turns bacteria into deadly zombies. What? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. This okay. is, I don't okay. know about this one. Okay. We're just being nonsense. This, this, is, yeah, this is just. You, just, you see what you did? This is going out there. You see what you did? <laughs> This is going off the rails. I think our conspiracy corner is better. Uh, conspiracy corner is pretty fun. But no, not that. Okay, so I have a f- good news. Okay. Uh, I haven't said any bad news. I know. I'm just saying I got good news. Okay. Um, oh, t- more good news. If we were to default on our debt and you own Bitcoin, Bitcoin's going up, baby. That's true. That's to the sure. moon. And then it's not the dollar would go up. <laughs> yes. Uh, but everything uses the dollar. Anything that's not in the stock market? Would the stock market crash? Yeah. It was like, yeah, stock market's going down if, if the government defaults. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Got the Water. warning again. What time is it? What time is it? You mean how long have we been recording? Yeah. We've been recording like 20 for minutes? Uh, 25 minutes. Oh. Which makes sense. It's on time. It's, yeah, it makes sense. It makes Pretty, sense. It makes sense. All right. It has, should have another five in it. Another five minutes? We'll test it. Test it. Stress testing one more time, boys. Stress and girls. testing. So if it shuts off, you already know what happened. You already know why. We got to figure this out. We, this is part of the whole learning process. Yeah. We are becoming working professionals this is part thank you for looking at the camera when you said that <laughs> they appreciate it <laughs> we're here we're glad you're here yo can you we're keep moving dog okay. you're killing our our, our the, watch time right now okay um in warren michigan a seventh grader uh, middle school his name is dylan reeves he jumped into action and stopped a bus, a school bus. Oh, you're talking about that video? From crashing. You oh, saw, I saw it? that video. Yeah. Oh, bro. Good for him. And you know, he was like, someone call the ambulance. Yeah, and I won, and then he pulled it over. Yeah. Bro, well, kid just put his foot on the brakes and took action. Like, honestly, I'm thinking, it's like, bro, if you crash, you're flying out that window. Yeah. That's what I was thinking, but he stopped it. Like, first of all, like he put himself in harm's way. He saved that. He did put himself in harm's way, but like, it's not like he was in harm's way already. True. True, but it'd probably be safer to just sit in the back and just like. There's no airbags there. Yeah, but there's a bunch of seats. You're right. It would still hurt. The only thing is, what I don't know for a fact is the terrain of Warren, Michigan. Like, if, if they're on a hill, it's not a good time. Think it tip over, start flipping, that's bad news. Listen, if it's either that or do nothing, do something. Do something. Facts. But kids, what, 13 years old? Seventh grade? 13 years old. Would you have stopped it? Would you have done? What would you have done? I think I would have freaked out. I'd probably, but... He, I don't know if he was like in the front or if he's all the way in the back. Because if you're in the back, you're not paying attention. You don't know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, no. If he was all the all the way in the back, like 
Dude ran. Good for him though. Thank I thought that, that was good news. Thank you for that lighting story. That's good news. I was I was shocked when I saw it. I was like, wow. I love your enthusiasm. It's the opposite of what I normally see on the internet. Like I saw some graphic stuff earlier today. I I told you some of it actually. What? The pizza the pizza restaurant thing? Oh. Yeah. Some kid shot a guy that was stealing from their convenience store. Uh, pizza. Almost killed them. Yeah. And the comments were like, why would you do that? Use excessive force. Uh, but, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well. Probably in New York, right? I have no idea where that one was actually. Yet. If it was a pistol? Guns are illegal in New York. Weapons are illegal in New York. I, I thought like, people had like both. Even people, mace is illegal. I thought in people in bodegas had shotguns or something. Uh, they probably do. Doesn't mean it's legal. It's New York. Makes sense. I feel like everything's illegal in New York. <laughs> that makes sense, though. You can't have guns in a city like that. It's too crowded. You're on top of it. Like it's a it's a thing that's like the gun th- this yeah, big, like and then you, you miss stacked. you miss someone's getting hit. Yeah. New York makes sense not to have but like guns. tasers. That's also illegal. You miss. What do you mean you miss? You hit the fire hydrant. <laughs> the you, hit, you hit the gas can that's right next to the, the the thing. You blow it up. You know, it's New Yorkers. It's New York. We're just shitting on New York. I mean, we get to shit on New York because they they because they lost. They came over here. They came over here and they <laughs> took an L. They said Florida's better. Oh, I'm not talking about that. What? I'm talking about how they took an L in basketball. Bunch oh. of scrubs. What are you talking about? about sports. Players. I knew I had to know sports. That's why I didn't want to bring it up. But, but the they day, lost to the Miami Heat. Wait, the other day I was at Sports Girl. And we're playing Boston tomorrow, I think. I'm yeah, we're playing tomorrow. Okay, well, I've been to Sports Girl. Uh, I was, it's a restaurant, guys. Yeah. Uh, I was, basketball game was going on. Everyone, every once in a while, cheering for the game. And I was like, damn, they're probably doing good. But, but when I made that like observation, I, and I was like, and I'm over here looking at this TV with like dogs running around. Doing like little silly, silly little tricks and laughing at it like a girl, yeah. like a schoolgirl. Uh, I, <laughs> I was like, "Oh, look at them!" So I was like, Damn, that guy's running. Actually, no. Matter of fact, one of them I was like, "Yo, that dog's booking it," and I was like, "That's got to be like on the leaderboard." It ended up being on the top three. I was like, "Damn, how they know?" He was excited to see a dog run. He owns a dog that runs fast. No, I do not. <laughs> she has long legs. She should run somewhat fast. I kind of, but no, dog's clumsy. She's not. In it. She's not. In it. Not a racing dog. They weren't even racing. It was like an obstacle course. It was like one of those things. So they for the camera. All right. I feel like that Disney. Do you still do that? No, I don't think so. I don't know. I don't watch Disney. I don't either. <laughs> I, this guy. I feel like you're, no, you're not providing anything more to this conversation, Alexander. <laughs> I, you, you said something about the, the basketball game. I just uh, gave you some personal anecdote that you don't watch basketball yes that is true your point um you want you want to try wrapping up you want to take another five um i had the one thing to talk about like okay yeah. so let's quick intermission one more time one more let us cool down a little bit we'll and we'll brb brb nice too um, what do you want to talk about lastly um the governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis. What did Ronnie do? He signed a bill or a law, something. He signed something that pretty much uh, makes uh, transportation. <laughs> you okay? Did you, you wet yourself there pretty badly? You didn't get any on the mic, right? That's what I was looking at. Okay. Uh, not on the mic. I did. It does look like I peed myself now. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so essentially, uh, being a like transportation of or uh, giving work to uh, illegal immigrants or illegal residents of, uh, can cause you undocumented undocumented illegal to have a what's it called a, to be charged with a with a crime a felony for for harboring and transporting fugitives. Isn't that already like part of the thing? What do you mean part of the thing? 
Like, is it already illegal to harbor? To harbor uh, fugitives of the state, it should be, yeah. I think it is. Well, mm -hmm. essentially, uh, the majority of the the issue it would be for like uh, businesses uh, that operate mostly with the people who are just looking for work because they need to find some type of living. Uh, like you said, the um, like you mentioned a while ago, um, the majority of our like farmers come from or like not farmers but like the people who pick crops are uh, undocumented workers and the people in the construction industry are also people people are doing the blue collar blue blue collar jobs okay so you're saying a lot of undocumented immigrants are, are doing the blue collar jobs uh -huh. and he's making it illegal to work with them so we're yeah. gonna have a shortage of labor for those jobs if they get rid of them all see he understands me he understands me so well He's like, let me fill in this gas because this guy's not not. Thinking. I don't know, bro. I feel like you're struck to say all that. I was. <laughs> you were nervous, dog. No, no, it wasn't that I was nervous. You're not gonna get canceled for it. Don't worry. I, we're not, we're not big enough to get canceled. I, was, yet. I mean, I didn't say. We'll I, get canceled next I wasn't year. Gonna say anything <laughs> controversial. I was just saying. Everything I just said is controversial. I think. How? I don't know, but trust me, someone will find this controversial. <laughs> That's crazy. All right. Well. I didn't see. I don't see anything controversial with that. It's just uh, stating facts. Typically, um, that's where controversy come from. Come stating, from. <laughs> Typically, st stating facts. Stating facts. All right. So, um, you know, who has a great Im immigrant joke. Who? Schultz. -y. Does he? Andrew Schultz has a great joke on Mexicans. Does he? Hilarious. One. On what? Or what? Like, on I'm not gonna say the premise. I'm not gonna. No, do that. no. I mean, like on on what? Like special? It was on one of his specials. It's on, a like, clip. Look up. Mexicans are stealing your jobs, our jobs, Andrew Schultz. I will. There may be a link to that somewhere. I will gladly put a link for that. <laughs> it's hilarious. Yeah? It's just so funny. And he has a Cuban one, too. Mm hmm That oh, does he? Yeah. Interesting. Cool. I'll, I'll definitely be looking that up. Um, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, so he signed an immigration law where businesses that m have more than 25 employees, they need to use this federal uh, verification system called uh, E-Verify to pretty much run the documentation uh, and make sure that the labor workforce is like a legal standard. Properly, yeah. Yeah. So the thing that I thought was interesting was I've been seeing videos mm -hmm. of uh, a lot of like construction sites with no workers. I'm telling you construction sites that would have typically 100, 200 people working, only having 20 people. Um, and that's because the people narrating the videos that they're recording, like these are like new new uh, construction complexes, mm -hmm. um, people living next to it, they would see the workers going and building. And one day they're like, oh look, there's like 20 people showing up today. And that's the only reason why I'm saying 20 is because they said 20, I barely saw three. So, a lot of like production is going to be cut down like crazy. Um, the thing that I think is interesting is that although this, the the law has already been signed um, today, what, March, or May, May, or May, May, May it doesn't take effect until 1st of July. So like, I don't see why people wouldn't be working for as long as possible or like, that's the part that I thought was like, kind of like interesting. like. So it wouldn't be the people; mm -hmm. it would be the employers. The employers who wouldn't want them saying, there. Okay, like yeah, because immediately, like don't, yeah, don't come over. True. Yeah, that wouldn't that wouldn't be an employee thing. That would be an employer being like, no, no, because now I put my company or my whatever mm -hmm. at risk, or I put myself at risk. That's true. Um. So as as such, uh, there's a lot of uh, truck drivers who are uh, like boycotting in a way and don't want to come into Florida. They're refusing to get some jobs, like like shipments, they're coming down to Florida and bringing them down. So they don't want to get paid either? Well, they f the majority of truck drivers happen to be Hispanic or of immigrant status. And they, they're like, how are we gonna support, how are we gonna provide some type of service to a state that doesn't stand with their community. So I'm gonna be a little devil's advocate here. Don't mm -hmm. come then. 
I'll, we'll just find someone who's willing to do it. Correct. And they know that the market is now it's tighter, so they're going to charge more. Maybe. Yeah, no, that, that will for sure happen. I don't think so. This guy. I know what you mean by supply and demand. This guy. I don't think so. Someone will absolutely say, oh, you're not going? Don't worry, I'll take it. You got five shipments, I will go. But you see, time's a little tight, so if I'm going to be working overtime, I'm going to make it look worthwhile. I don't know about this. Raise or raise by 1.25 quarter percent. Things get I'm more trying expensive. to see where I'm trying to go with this right because now. Because I, I think we could say this for um, construction work, construction workers. Uh, there's less people working, so it's going to take longer to make this project. That's just more expenses that the people have, so they're going to charge more. Or have to pay more for uh, documented workers if anyone's willing to even take those jobs. I think there will be. But yeah, once the price is right. I'm not saying that. I'm not arguing that. But. Yeah. So, uh, so what are you trying to say? You're trying that, to pay for cheaper labor right now? I'm, what You're I'm trying saying, to support America? No, no, no. What I'm saying is that there's pros and cons I'm to kidding. this. What I'm saying is that there's pros and cons to this. No, no, I know. I know. <laughs> Um, <laughs> there's there's pros and cons to this because part of the reason that he, that someone told me that they that he was that he signed this bill was uh, to try to lower the crime rate uh, in the cities that are having higher influx influx of uh, Ill, uh, illegal immigrants, undocumented immigrants, mm -hmm. such as a uh, Hialeah, where there's a bunch of people coming in, and now since they can't work anywhere legally they're resorting to crime to make a living so to try to eradicate or like not eradicate but like displace uh the unwanted people that are causing violent crimes like theft and robbery uh you signed this bill so it's even harder for them to be in the state so to get back to like the pros and cons thing is like the pro is that hope the hopes is that crime will go down the con is that a lot of people who are like law abiding citizens, besides the fact that they're undocumented and are just trying to make a living for their family, can no longer do that here. And that displaces the people who are trying to add to the economy. That goes to Patrick Pat David thing though. So if we're talking about a uh, controversy, that that that's a controversial statement. That goes to Patrick Pat David thing though. What what do you say? Because Pat always tells a story of him being in Iran, 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 for I'm just trying to center myself. That's fine. Until like he was ten, then um, when I forgot who who was the the leader at that point, I th the Mossad or the Masai, well, I don't remember his name. The person leading Iran at that point um, gets overthrown. The new guy comes in. It's crap. He leaves. He flees to a refugee camp. Then from that camp he goes to Germany, and then he's there in Germany for two years. And so he's like 12 to 13. And then from that point, 12 to 13, he then comes to America. Okay, what's your point? So his thing is, he's also not for, like, you should do it the right way. Mm -hmm. His way. His, I'm not saying it is or it isn't. I, mm -hmm. I can't give a strong opinion right now just because I don't have one. Yeah, so to play, like, to put, I could say that I come from a point of privilege where I live here and... Well, you were born here. Yeah, I know I was born here. But, like, so I could see, like, where people say, oh, like, do the right way. But then coming from the other perspective, putting myself in the other shoes, where I'm desperate to leave my country because the situation That's is so rough. So, yes. I don't care as long as I'm out. Like, I'll do what, like, I'll do whatever it takes. That's also not all of them. That's not everyone. No, I understand that. I understand Which I think it's also, I think, again, it's give and take. Yeah, I think one of the arguments for the side of we don't they don't want undocumented is they come here, they make their money here, don't pay tax on it because it's cash, whatever. Then they take that 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 money to their country to support the family for next time. Then they do the same thing. Mm -hmm. That's also not the person who's trying to make a life here. I'm not saying that's everyone. I'm mm -hmm. not speaking for either side. Just giving different perspectives. Yep. No, I just want to talk about like how that that law was. Uh, put into place and how uh, certain markets are going to be shifting also how the truck drivers are boycotting I thought that one thing is going to have a very dramatic 
cause like change it changing things going on mm. so the on the bright side is that law is very quickly revo- revocable like if the goal is to lower um crime once people start moving out you could sign the law back into place like uh, unsign it into place and then the likelihood of those people coming back would be very small because it's expensive to move and time consuming they're illegal they would gladly move back it's expensive and time consuming is what i'm saying yeah but if they're already illegal it doesn't matter their legality has nothing to do with it yeah it does it's just expensive for them to come over here because they just finished moving it's risky for them to stay in a place that's illegal yeah but they wouldn't be able to stay in the u.s is what i'm saying no no just it's just it's a state of florida thing yeah but they will still be illegal anywhere else so like they're, they're gonna face similar issues wherever they go that is true that, but that's that's part of that's kind of part of like i know what you're saying but like that same risk is here like with with or without that bill like that's only saying like i think that bill is an issue because it makes it for the hard on the employer to hire that person Mm -hmm. but it's not like big companies that are landscaping or whatever already wouldn't still be doing it like they still would do it so the thing is that actually that that law only applies to companies that have 25 employees or more so landscaping companies they probably have 10 to 15 maximum 20 25 they won't need they won't need to do that what I'm saying is, depending on how big it is, you can have enough employees fall through the cracks. That doesn't matter. True, true. Yeah. Especially if it's like construction things like that, you know, mm-hmm. like there has to be more There's to the bill. Only some. Yeah. So one of the things is uh, transportation. So if you're in a car and someone in the car is an illegal uh, immigrant, uh, undocumented, the driver of the car can also be charged with a felony. So that applies to you, like if you're driving someone that's illegal. Yeah. Like right now, you're like, driving home. Yeah, like right now, if I'm you driving pulled home over. and I get pulled over with an illegal immigrant in my car, I could charge. I could be charged. I wouldn't drive any of your family around just in case. We don't know which ones are legal. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, that's that causes an issue also. I think the driving one causes more of an issue. That causes more at, at a personal level, smaller. Yeah. That, that that gets the that gets the ones that fall through the cracks on the other on the other end. Yeah, but isn't that like similar to like an ice bus that would happen? Like, oh, they like they say, oh, this house is filled with illegal immigrants. Go and get it. Get go ISIS ice go to the house and get them. It's the same thing. Like, I, yes, but these things already exist. Like, already these fears already existed for them. Yeah, kind of, yeah, but it's just making it worse. It just, I'm just. Uh, Wow, I'm not saying that. I'm just, I'm just saying that I, uh, it already existed. Yeah, that's it. I'm just saying the fear is already there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the fear is already there. Now it's multiplied. I think if anything, it makes it more so for the un- for the person who is not undocumented, adding the risk factor. Correct. That is that is where the. Okay. Is that? Yeah, I didn't feel like you're saying that. Okay. <laughs> What? <laughs> Same. Okay. Um, this poses that that factor also poses a specific risk to uh, the children that are legal within the United States systems. Which I don't know how that works exactly. Yeah. But some some kids are. We're not the best with this immigration yeah. one. Some kids are legal, uh, like residents, mm-hmm. but the parents are not. Res- you mean U.S. citizens? Residents, or it doesn't matter. It just they they reside within the United States legally. They could be citizens also, but they are residents as well. Okay, they're just legal. They're okay. they're legally living within the United States. Um, if they're driving with one of their parents or aunts and uncles, that some family member that's illegal, they get they could be charged with. So order them an Uber. The Uber, that, that the Uber doesn't. Know, that's a later problem. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying just order them an Uber. That, the that'd Uber's be not, crazy, actually. The Uber's, not gonna, the Uber's not gonna know who it is. The Uber's like, oh yeah, this person ordered us the ride. No, you know what? You actually bring up a very interesting thing now because this is gonna cause a whole bunch of issues for. Yeah, for just that. order them a Lyft or an Uber. Get them a taxi. Who's They're not fault? gonna know who's going in. Who's at fault? Uber. No one is. That's the thing. No, Uber is clearly 
they're not going to be at fault because they don't know. They're just hired. They're just hired to pick someone up. Uh huh. They're not going to go after they them. They need to have checks. They're not going to go after them. If Uber wants to operate within the laws of then the, um, at that point, Florida would have to put a restriction on Uber saying well, you have to add this extra measure to correct. check everyone, which they won't do. Why not? Because it's too much work. You're going to lose. You're going to lose on all the on all the extra cash flow created by Uber drivers. You think Uber is going to leave Florida? You think Uber's gonna? It depends how much it costs to do it. How much more extra? How much extra? Orlando, work Tampa, gonna, Miami. How much extra work is that gonna cost? Orlando, Tampa, Miami. How much? You're gonna more tell would, me what it costs to implement that check factor? Probably not that much. It's a agree. it's a single sim, simple page. Yeah, it's it's one thing to be a simple page or, it's not about or page. something in the terms of agreements. If if you hire, then they have to do that for when they ship things to you. What do you mean when they ship things to you? you Uber has right now the ability to, I, I can call an Uber and be like, oh, take this package uh-huh. to that house. Correct. If there's contraband in that package, Uber's not held liable because they don't know what's in it. Because they're not supposed to, they don't, you don't tell them what's in it. Are you going to make them liable for that too? For whatever's in that package? Because if you do, then you have to go down to the to mailing system. You create a whole thing. This guy, he's a... Uh Pointing out flaws in the in the legal system. Just like this. I do what I do. Interesting. I. Right. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> okay. Well, I think we'll wrap it up then. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Well, it's been a fun one. It's been a fun one. Lots of uh, lots of conversation. We're gonna have a fun episode next week too. Hopefully. Next week. Hopefully, it's gonna be a very good one. So we'll definitely recommend tune in to next week's episode. Yep. Tune into this week's episode. Tune, tune in. But they're already tuned in. We don't know. That. Like, share, subscribe. Mostly share. Mostly like. And comment. Double tap. I can care less about it. Yeah, comment too. Everything helps Wait. the algorithm. Yeah. <laughs> Everything helps the algorithm if we're honest. Yeah. Subscribe. Thank you for being here. Follow. We love you. Sometimes crypto. The unscripted. Crypto podcast. Your favorite crypto podcast. Oh, your favorite crypto podcast. Ayo. Ayo.